Hello everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. A gorgeous sunny day. Just got back from walking Hudson for about an hour. It was beautiful. This is a rare occasion when I can make a video in the afternoon. And handsome hubby is napping. Shh. <laughs> so we're going to go forward and uh, create a video on... Um, it's the book cover tag. So you're going to make a tag out of a book cover. I just made a video on how to do that. But we are going to um, install that into our altered book. So follow the video, make the uh, book cover tag or tile, and then uh, come back and visit me on this and I'll show you how to put it in your altered book. Okay? All right. See you in the table. Since we've already created the tag together, our supplies are less than they were before on the last video. So here's the little tag that I made out of a book cover. And I found a fun book cover where it actually has a little illustration or an embossing, I guess, on the back side. This was the front of the book. So it's uh, a knight, actually, and his horse. So I'm going to use that for one side and then the other side. I went ahead and embellished. I will leave the link to that video um, in the notes, okay? So you need your tile, some watercolor, so some water to go with your watercolor, some string, this is uh, waxed linen, and I've got about 36 inches here, so we'll see how that goes for the tying. We shall see. Uh, you'll need four grommets. Uh, these are larger grommets than I used in the, in the video for the box. I used a larger grommet on this tag, so I want to match it with the larger grommet in the page. Your trusty, trusty, dusty Mod Podge. Your brush to go along with that. Ta-da! The Crocodile too, And some alcohol. This is 91% alcohol that I'm just going to spray on the page. All right, life totally got in the way yesterday. I ended up doing laundry and grocery shopping and preparing dinner and all those things that happen uh, when we're living. So <laughs> back to our altered book. Um, so you're gonna need your book, of course, along with the other supplies. And then you're also gonna need some clear gesso. All right, so what we're gonna do is glue two pages together on one side and four pages together on the other side. Now you may have to adjust this. This book cover is thin. So if you're using a thick one, uh, like we did on the box, you may need more pages glued together. But four pages are going to be enough. These pages are torn. I'm going to embrace that. So I already have two pages glued together on this side. I'm gonna glue four pages together on this side you know how to do it. Mod Podge, close your book. Mod Podge, close your book. And do that for four pages. Let's talk about the altered book for a minute. If you have not removed pages throughout your book, you need to do that or the book will become too stressed. Now, my books are never in a very good uh, condition. And so I have to repair them as I go forward with the books. So you can see that this is very weak in here. Now I'm going to take a deli sheet. Now a deli sheet, I know a lot of you out of the U.S. Uh, are confused by what a deli sheet is. And if I were to go to a sandwich shop and order a sandwich, then there's a piece of paper. It's, it's not waxed. Well, maybe it is lightly waxed and they put that in the bottom or they wrap the sandwich in that. And hence, in the States, we call that a deli wrap or a deli sheet. All right, you can get them at the store um, that would have like catering products. They have them like by 500 count. So, and they are really affordable. And it's really strong for this spine area. So I'm just going to glue that down and that will reinforce this area in the book. 
And I'm not going to wait for that to dry. I'm just going to go ahead and paint my page with some clear gesso, both pages with clear gesso. And this will give the watercolor something to grab onto because I'm going to go forward with some watercolor and the alcohol, 91% alcohol. And just painting both of those pages with some clear gesso. Now I have to let it dry. All right, now the sun is up. Um, the gesso is dry. The deli sheet mending area is dry. Can you hear that? It's rough. That is smooth. This is rough. That's the gesso on there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now I'm going to take some juicy watercolor. I want lots of dense color, but we need the water on there so that it will react with the alcohol. And it is possible to have juicy watercolors with lots of water and lots of color. Now I'm going to take my alcohol. I'm just going to do one page at a time so that I can capture that water. I'm just going to take a brush. Look at that. Instant gratification right here on the table. All right. And now I'll do the other page. Remembering two pages glued together on this side, four pages together on that side for stability. Nice juicy watercolor and some alcohol splatters. I love this technique. Alright, I'm going to let this dry. While this is drying, I'm going to go walk Hudson. Yum, malicious. All right, I'll stop. Maybe one more. Okay. All right, be back after I walk Hudson. All right, these pages are just about dry. There's one spot right here that isn't dry yet, but I'm going to go forward. Take my book cover tile, decide where that's going to be. I'm going to take something like a cereal box and put it between the pages there to protect the pages. And then I'm going to grab my X-Acto and I'm just going to go around my book tile and cut an opening. So here's my tile. Here's the piece I cut out from behind it. There's my window. A little ragged. Like that. Happen to like that. All right, now I'm going to take my tile and I'm going to decide where I want the holes. I want them to be pretty even. That's good. With the holes that are on the tile, that's why I'm using the tiles as a measuring template and I'm just marking those holes. Now I'm going to take the Crepidile 2 and on the largest hole that it makes I'm going to pop holes in these dots. I'll do one and then I'll leave you on your own. So I'm just going to line it up with that dot and give it a squeeze and it makes that perfect hole. 
I'll just show you how I'm going to do the last one. I'm lifting the page up, lining that hole puncher with that dot, and then punching a hole. If you have never used a Crepidile 2, they're a very fun and handy tool. And I do have a tutorial on how to use these because they're hole punches and then they will also install our grommets, which is what we're going to do next. So I'm going to move my lever to the very front and this is my grommet installer. Alright, this is going to be a little bit awkward to show you, but we're going to try it. So I'm going to go right in here, line that up, give it a squeeze, and there it is. I'm going to put a grommet in each hole, and then we're going to install our tile. So I have my four grommets in, and if I look at my tile that's going to go in there, it's got a nice finished edge with the stays on. I use the timber brown. So I'm just going to go around the edge of the page with that. And I'm going to go around the opening so that everything matches a little bit. I have no idea what I'm going to do on this page, but chances are I'm going to want some ink on that too. So we'll just do that. That looks nice and grungy, don't you think? Just perfectly grungy. Now I'm going to take the tile and I'm going to thread it through a hole here and a hole in my tile. Wouldn't that be hilarious if I had the whole thing upside down? <laughs> mm, didn't happen this time. That's good. And I'm going to tie that in place. So I've t tied all four corners in place. I'm going to trim these strings back a bit. Not that I don't like strings, I do. And there you go. And then on the other side is this yummy picture of the knight and his horse. So I will do something fun with the back of that. But not right now. That is pretty fun. All right, go play. <sighs> go create, go play, go have fun. Leave me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a thumbs down if you don't. <coughs> As always, tell me why you didn't like it um, so that I can work on that. This was really fun. This was really fun. All right, see you next time.